In the matter of AI, artificial intelligence, something that I know a little bit about because it's impacted my profession as a translator and it's made me poorer and it's given me headaches that I didn't have beforehand. But nonetheless, the real issue that occurs now that AI has come into the world and has been beckoned into the world is that all words then lose their meaning because we can no longer know in what context they're uttered, whether it's just been constructed. You know, words have meaning in relation to their neighbours. And so it's had, it's really destroyed our, our language. And now to find language, we have to look to, to physical books and really probably not the newest ones there may there's something there perhaps but the physical book of course in ideally and linguistically because people surely know that the word bible means book so we have to return to the book that's what's happened they've unleashed this um, very powerful demon that destroys, it's, a, it's like, a, 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 I suppose you could call it like the Tower of Babel once again. It destroys meaning by making everything true, or everything untrue, or who cares. It's a curious thing that they've done, and it would take um, an insane person to do something like that. I mean, why would you do that? It's so in, in dangerous. But it seems that we are governed by the insane. So this is, what, this is what AI effectively does. And I think we're beginning to see it more and more. That nothing really has any meaning any longer. And so we are left with a stark choice. And to me, there's only one logical choice. And, and that is to stand on the word of God. I'm sure many will be with me on that hill. We could call it Zion. But there are, there are other hills in the world, and some assembled upon them. And I think they should look carefully to their business, but I'm sure they think they know what they're doing. But do they? <laughs>